Well, this is the first day of our trip to uh, Greenland. We are here because we want to understand what is happening to the second largest body of uh, ice on the planet. Uh, this is the most important ice mass in the northern hemisphere. We left early this morning from BWI, the International Airport of Baltimore, and uh, flew here to, uh, to Greenland on one of the uh, almost maiden uh, commercial trips to Greenland from Baltimore. And uh, we had a, a wonderful group uh, gathered together to visit. And this evening around the dinner table, we had an opportunity to talk about why we're all here. And it's clear that this group is here to get a better understanding of what's happening to our world. Uh, that they might be better uh, messengers uh, back in their home communities. Well, I'm coming on this trip because I think that probably the most important issue of the 21st century is going to be global climate change. And I really want to go back to Cleveland to my museum, the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and set up an exhibit so we can begin to talk about these issues and start to educate our public. Well, there's no substitute for actually having been there on site and to see firsthand. I've been reading and, of course, know a little bit, I plan to learn a lot more, what's going on um, in Greenland and uh, the melting of the glaciers, etc. So for me personally, it's very empowering to actually be there on site and witness these things firsthand. Uh, we're, we're looking out on a fjord uh, that has produced, uh, is currently producing more ice uh, into the oceans than any other uh, place in the northern hemisphere. Uh, the, the Jake Jacob's Shaven uh, Ice Fjord is uh, also historically an important ice fjord because it, it actually discharged the, the massive iceberg that uh, struck uh, the Titanic many years ago. I think it's symbolic because this ice fjord was responsible for a calamity of, in times past and will be a major contributor to uh, the rising sea level on the planet as a result of global warming. It'll just be curious to see, like, the ice. You know, will we be able to see um, where the ice used to be and where it is now? You know, has it receded dramatically? And, you know, in a way, I really don't know what we're going to see. I just hear it's a land of ice flows and just great natural beauty. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really excited to see it. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a really good opportunity to see what's happening because I think everyone can like read about it, but getting to see it will be really interesting. Tomorrow we're going to be uh, meeting with scientists and also doing a hike on uh, one of the glaciers nearby. And I'm looking forward to seeing the, the community here and talking to some of the local officials about what's happening to their world to get a, to get a better sense of what, how it's impacting the people here of Greenland. Uh, so please join us tomorrow.